Greetings, it's Maxo Diddley, and today I'm going to show you how to do a lookup check using Python. So let's get right into it. So a lookup check is basically checking if a certain value exists within an array, list, or other type of data structure. An example could be if I'm asking for a day of the week, and the user inputs the word duck. That's going to be invalid because duck does not exist as a day of the week. However, let's say the user inputs Monday, that's going to be valid because it is a day of the week and we have each day of the week as a value in our list. And in Python today, we're going to be showing you how to do this with a basic list. So let's get right into it. We have got a list called data. We do equals, square bracket, we do a value, comma, another value, comma, another value, comma, another value, then a square bracket. Obviously, you can put in as many values as you like. We've got some strings. We've got clodsire, quagsire, best, and perfection. All these words can be changed. And then we've got print, check value, five, and data. So we're going to be printing something. Check value is going to be a function we're going to define in a moment. Five is going to be what we're searching for in this list. And data is the list we're going to conduct the search on. When it comes to defining our function, we do def because that's short for define. Then we do check value, that's the name of our function. Value is going to be the value or the data we want to check exists in our list. Data list is going to be the list we're going to check, and then you do a colon after because it's the end of a function definition line. After that, we do three simple lines of code. We do if value in data list, return true, and then return false. I'm going to be honest. This line of code is kind of like an, an English sentence. We're literally saying if value in data list. This line is basically going to check if the value is in the data list. If it is, and as a match, we return true because the value exists in our list and therefore it's valid. Otherwise, we return false because it doesn't exist, therefore it's invalid. And that's basically it for this tutorial. So we're going to put in quagsire as our value that we're going to check for, and then we're going to hit play. And it's going to say true. It says true because quagsire does exist in this list. Let's do a lowercase q and then hit play. Well, it says false because quagsire with a lowercase q doesn't exist. Let's copy the word best and put it in here and then hit play and see what happens. Well, it says true because it does exist in the list. And now let's just put in the number five. And it's false because the number five doesn't exist in the list. And that's it for this tutorial. Be sure to leave a like in the comment if you enjoyed and subscribe if you want to see more Python tutorials. Thanks for being a great audience.